Good afternoon everyone, my name is Marcus Stokes and I'm here in sunny Southern California to show you the brand new Winnebago Travato 259 GL. This technically is a prototype model, but it will be going into production soon. So the team at Winnebago has spent the last several months, if not years, looking at the 59G and sort of determining what, could, what they can make better. They're listening to the user base and they're making adjustments and they've made a lot of great changes inside this coach. So we're gonna do a quick walk around around the outside and then we'll get inside and we'll show you everything that's new that you might be able to get your hands on as soon as it goes to market. First and foremost, this is the Winnebago Travato. It is built on the Ram Promaster 3500 chassis. That chassis is about 21 feet. That's been the same chassis that Winnebago has been using for the past, you know, since I believe the launch of the Travato line. On the outside, you can see we've got some nice Winnebago badging. We've got the Volta Pure 3 lithium system. This is obviously your 30 amp support. This is your vent for the Truma Combi unit. But what you don't see is any of the water inlets that have always been on the exterior of the Travato, which is nice because it gives the vehicle a nice, smooth, clean look. So you might say, well, where do those water ports go? Those of you that are familiar with the Winnebago Solus might already know. Inside here, we have the Nautilus system, which I believe was first introduced on the Winnebago Solus. And what this is, is the simplest, easiest, most convenient way to control your water sources for your coach. So we've got these four color-coded knobs and a key here, kind of like your answer key, telling you what positions those knobs need to be in if you're winterizing, if you're sanitizing, if you're running off of city water, if you're running off your water tank. Your fill port is right here. So now that's really important because now uh, all the water lines of the Travato have been interior for a while now, but now the fill is also interior, which means that when you're in cold weather, you, know, you no longer have to worry about water at the source in the sheet, in the sheet metal freezing up because everything is now inside. The only way to access this is to open up the back door. You have a great opportunity to not worry about your water freezing. All right, a couple more new features here. Um, one very important one is there is now a very sturdy handhold to enter the coach. And so having this handhold here to like quickly get in and out is really helpful. Um, the other thing that's really interesting is this is something that a lot of users were, were adding to their coach, including myself. Um, this is a quick, open when the door is closed. Because of this wall here, when you close the door, it's a little bit difficult to get here to the door opening. So they've added this latch here, I mean this strap here, which allows you to open the door without having to really strain. Next, we've got these uh, window coverings on the back doors. This is also similar to the window coverings on the Solus, except in the Travato, these feel very insulated. So it is gonna service as like an additional thermal break if you're in hot or cold weather. And the way it works is it's very simple. You just zip it up and around and it's 100% blackout. Um, so that is really effective and it's gonna be really useful for people like myself that go to uh, snowboard and want that solar break or people that want a stealth camp and wanna have a full blackout. So a couple more new features in the Travato GL. One, we have a optional floor mat which runs the entire length from the galley all the way here to the back doors. Um, it's nice on, a, on a cold mornings to keep your toes from, from getting nice and chilly. Underneath that, um, we've got a new honeycomb composite insulated flooring. And um, this is really great because it's insulated. It provides another thermal break on cold days when you're out snowboarding or out in cold climates. It allows, a lot to keep, it allows us to be able to keep a lot of that cold air outside of the coach. In addition, it's very durable and easy to maintain. So it's really nice that we have that new flooring and obviously we also have the optional floor mat to go over it. It's non-slip and it's something that I would never go without. So I really think this is a great option. I'm glad Winnebago did it and I think it's something that you guys should take a look at. Next, we're gonna look at this new screen uh, built by Winnebago's St Stitchcraft department. You'll see here, it's got a couple clips that you unclip. The screen comes down, two zippers, and that's it. So the, um, the rear screen on uh, the Travato G that came with my vehicle was a snap-on structure. Uh, and so this is a lot easier. It's, you saw how quickly it is to deploy. And um, I think it'll allow you to keep all the, the mosquitoes out of your van on those uh, warm muggy nights. Lastly, we're gonna talk about the rear annex. Again, these two items were uh, attached securely to the bottom of the bed. 
and they have attachment points here on the side of the van, right? So it's very simple. It's just kind of a push to insert. You'll push this, you'll slide it in, take these two, put them together. Okay, and then this pin just goes in here. And there you have a, a nice convenient place to, for me, uh, dry out your wetsuits or hang your wet clothes or your towels or anything like that. In addition to that, this becomes what we call the rear annex because Winnebago provides you this piece of fabric. So it comes with these four straps so you can really quickly uh, create yourself a little bit of a room. It comes with these uh, magnetic ponds so you can really quickly attach this to the side of the van as well. And you can see you can create like your own little room there for you to be able to take a shower or anything like that. Okay guys, so here we are. We're inside the new Winnebago Travato 59 GL and you'll notice a few things different here. Uh, first and foremost, you'll notice that the entryway is uh, very unobstructed. It's very op open and airy and what used to be a bench seat here has been replaced by what we're now calling the pedestal. The pedestal is super cool because it has a variety of items on it. First and foremost, it has a nice handhold for you to climb into the van and this right here is a ram mount. So you can mount a variety of accessories, iPads, whatever. Ram, the RAM mount is a very universal mounting system and uh, there's lots of accessories available. Next to that, there is this. This is the power area that pops up and stays up as you can see. Um, we've got two 110 volt and two uh, USBs. So that is really great, especially when uh, this chair is spun around in the other positions so that you could uh, do some work or work on your laptop or what have you. This goes up or down at will. And then what you'll see right here is a Lagoon table mount. Now, van lifers all over the globe are super familiar with the Lagoon table mount. I think it's one of the most popular table mounts in all of van life. And you'll wonder why that Lagoon mount is there. And the answer to that is right over here on my right, which is your left, which is the new Lagoon table. Hey guys, here I am inside the cab of the Winnebago Travato. Uh, again, this is built on the Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. And the main upgrade that they've done here is by changing out the head unit. This is a Pioneer system, and it is a seven-inch touchscreen system. What's really interesting about this is you can basically get all of your information from here. Uh, in addition to having, you know, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Bluetooth, and you can plug in your USB to it. In addition to that, it also has an OBD2 port that's plugged in. And what that does is gives you access to a lot of the vehicle functions. You can see your tire pressure, you can see your intake temperature. You can see a lot of the things that the vehicle always knew about, but it would only give you like one little symbol, like low tire pressure. Now, because of uh, the OBD2 port, you can see the exact tire pressure from every tire. You can see varieties of like what your RPMs are, what your fuel amount is. So all the information that the vehicle now knows you now can see and that's really amazing and obviously it's got Bluetooth with your phone it's got you know Pandora and Spotify and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and all those things are, are built in. One thing that I'm very happy that they've done on the uh, new 59G is they've moved all the controls from above the bench seat to right here above the entryway this is a nice place to see all of your controls What's nice about it is they're out of the way. You're only over here when you want to actually see this information. And all of your, your one place panel is here, your Truma Combi control is here, your inverter control is here, LP tank heaters, all your sort of like control center is right here over the door. So whenever you come in at night, if you want to check something is right there. And the Volta control is also in the same general area. So now they've really unified the controls for the RV. Next up is a change that a lot of current Travato owners have done on their G model uh, camper vans. And that is, this is the area where above you have storage and below you have your hanging storage with the curtain rod and all that stuff. A lot of people have been putting in uh, drawers or shelves in this area and Winnebago has sort of followed suit by adding adjustable storage at adjustable heights in this area. So now you can have either hanging storage or uh, or shelving depending on what you want and it's also not permanent so maybe during the week for me I use this as my daily driver I'll actually have shirts and suits and things in there and then on the weekends when I'm gonna go surfing I can put these shelves in and put you know my surf wax and my leashes and my leg ropes and all that stuff in there 
Okay, so now we're moving over into the galley and you'll notice again that there's a lot of room here moving left to right. We have a proper residential sink. And more importantly, we have a residential size stopper here. No longer do we have the mini camp stopper. So you can actually get to do some real cooking in here and really washing your dishes and things. Uh, you'll notice that we also have a residential faucet. It's a nice high faucet so you can get the pans underneath there. That for me is a big deal. Um, I've been struggling with the camp sink for a while and have done some of my own modifications like this. And as we move to the cooktop, you'll notice that we have a true induction cooktop in a Winnebago Travato. This is available in the L model, the lithium model. If you, if you purchase a Winnebago Travato non-lithium model, you will still get the two burner propane uh, cooktop. Um, but it's nice to know that if you have the lithium model and you have the power, you can actually use uh, induction cooking, which a lot of people are in favor of. So one other thing that's uh, that's a nice both functionally and fashionable is the new hardware for the for the drawers and the cabinets. This is now um, this is a positive locking uh, latch. So once that's closed, you can't open it. And when you move this, then you're able to open the latch. That is the same on all the cabinets and all the drawers. It's very nice, and it also ties in with the Winnebago uh, coat hanger here. They've got a nice sort of chrome finish on all these things, and it really makes it look premium. Um, you'll notice that on all the cabinets. Um, and then the last new item in the galley um, is this EcoHot system right here. Again, this system I believe was introduced in the Winnebago Solus. And what it basically does is it allows you to put your water on preheat, which means when you have hot water, it's in the Truma Combi hot water heater, but it's not at the tap. So what this will do is it'll recirculate the hot water through all the pipes so that you're not wasting the water until you get your hot water. Now we're moving back into what I consider the bedroom of the Winnebago Travato GL. And you'll notice uh, there have been some significant changes on the bed. Uh, first and foremost, this bed that is uh, articulatable for the Murphy bed portion is now constructed out of aluminum instead of, uh, instead of wood. And it is also slatted. Right? There's, uh, they used to use the Froley system. Now they're using slats, which many people think is uh, preferable. So what I think is most important is the aluminum system is significantly lighter. So it's a lot easier to get this bed up and down. And also, you can see I have a, a quick little blanket here. So let's get this into bed mode so you can see how easy it is. So in addition to the bed, the Murphy bed, the way that it used to work, um, obviously that strap uh, clips up here. I can do that for you really quickly. And now um, you'll notice that underneath the bed, in this area here, there are now legs. So they're magnetically attached. I can pull that off, bring the bed down, and there we have uh, legs that support the bed. And in addition, it also provides a step. So many people have put a modification of a step somewhere else to allow this, but now it's built into the bed itself. So you put down the legs. Again, it's aluminum, it's light. Now you have a step. It's so easy to put one hand here, one hand on the step, and I'm in the bed. And lastly, this wall here, which used to go straight back, has now started moving at an angle. And by doing that, they have gained, I believe, around four inches of extra width where your shoulders are. And believe me, that four inches doesn't sound like a lot, but when you've slept in this bed as many times as I have, you'll notice that those four inches are huge in terms of how much, how spacious this bed now feels. Uh, lastly, they have also put a ram track underneath the bed here. That's new. Um, so that if you're in bed and you want to watch your iPad, you can just connect an iPad mount there, stick your iPad, or your Android tablet or whatever whatever you have to watch your entertainment system. So I just want to show you guys um, uh, the difference in putting the bed up because even in my G the bed is actually pretty heavy and it takes you know it takes a little bit of, of, uh, of coordination to get it done but now that this is aluminum it's a lot easier so all you do is you lift this part up and then you lift the front part up right I like to do that first because then there's even less weight um, I'm gonna fold these legs in Again, they're magnetized, so that's pretty simple. And then you just lift this up. And again, this is aluminum, so like it's so light and easy to lift up. Uh, the difference, I'm pretty jealous, based on my bed, with uh, the, the new weight of the bed, of the Murphy bed, and how easy it is to attach. You connect this to that, and that's it, you're good. Also, because 
this is the GL model. There's a lot of lithium components over here. The water tank is behind here. So the storage in general has changed. You've got one long drawer here. You've got one big open cabinet here. Right now we have just a power cable in there. And then we have one nice long deep drawer here. And on this side, Winnebago has made standard this new sort of storage area. I call it the shoe pockets, but you could you, you could uh, store anything in here. We've got six areas for for shoes or or um, any other things you want to keep separated. And then there's one additional pocket in the back that is extremely deep. So now we're going to move forward to the bathroom. And for some of you guys, uh, some of you will notice, some of you won't, but the floor of the bathroom is now raised. And what you don't see in the Travato GL bathroom is there's no longer a button to pump out the shower water, right? So now the shower, I believe, is gravitated into the gray tank, which a lot of people will prefer because the shower pump button was something you had to remember to turn on, and it also ran outside the coach. So you had a problem in the winter, you had to put antifreeze down there. So by raising up the floor, they found a way to eliminate that problem. One thing that you'll notice is that the sink has been made more narrow, and we have a more professional faucet here. We also have an Oxygenix uh, shower head there, which is a great way to sort of conserve water because it, it finds a way to keep your water pressure by mixing it with air, I believe, and keeping you from burning through all your water when you take a shower, but still having water pressure. This is my daily driver. I use this thing to go to the grocery store. I use it to go surfing on the weekends. I even use it when I work. I direct television for a living, and I use this on the lots as my trailer. And uh, let me tell you, I've given more than my share of tours as people are so interested in this vehicle. So I don't want you to think that this vehicle is only useful as, a, as a, an RV or a vacation vehicle. You can honestly use this for that, but you could also use it for your daily driver. It's no big deal. So that's going to wrap it up for the Winnebago Travato 259 GL Ellis for Lithium. I thank you guys for joining us. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed all the new features and they'll be coming to a dealer near you soon.